Okay, um, the clay has dried a little bit more now and I'm ready to uh, just put some marks in it which I'll keep in this box here. Um, I'll explain this a little bit because it's useful and interesting but I think each uh, phase of my uh, pottery development has been in different locations and different times over the last 25 years and uh, so during that time I've collected different things uh, to be a register of where I was and who I was at that time and uh, that I'm involved in a process, a long-term process. So I don't just have one maker's mark, but I have a maker's mark for each place I belong to. And uh, I'll start with this one here. It's just a small flower on a children's uh, uh, stamp set. And I picked it up at a market at about the same time I started here. And because I work as a gardener during the day, the idea of the mark for Altair Studios and my time here now as a flower is really appropriate. I'll show you the earliest one that I had was just a pen I found in my first studio um, and back in Birmingham this was. And uh, when I was looking for an idea of making a mark, I was interested in the idea of using something simple and free or found object. Um, and I, I like the idea of being able to use the circular end to make a circle. And then because my name's Andrew, I use three points in that circle that would be three points of the letter A, if you can imagine that. I also do that for a, a slightly other, another reason as well, in that I recognise and prefer to consider things in a non-binary world. I think uh, the idea of looking at things at different perspectives within a triangle often makes more sense than seeing it in a binary way. Um, I also lived for a little while and worked for a little while in London and I found this on the street there which is I think probably off a coat or a button or something and it's a crown and I thought that was kind of appropriate um, because I, I lived and stayed in Hammersmith at that time and uh, I often went past Buckingham Palace on the way to the centre of the city. Um, got another one here, that one there, and again a found piece of metal on the street and I lived in Manchester for a little while and if you can see here there's sort of an M shape and whatever else it is. Uh, and so that reminds me of when I used to live there and the things that I learned there. Um, a little while later, uh, I, I, I made a trip to Australia and on the way I went to Singapore and to Hong Kong. And uh, I, I got this in Hong Kong at a market and um, uh, it's actually a, a calligraphy stamp. And um, I asked the chap who was selling them and, and carving them if you could phonetically carve my name into the this piece of stone. And uh, so that's that there. And then another piece here is um, just after I was a student, I was uh, living and working uh, for somebody called Paul Carter, and he gave me a Bunch of papers to read and understand and it was held together with a paper clip and after I uh, <laughs> read the information he gave me I was sitting in his car waiting for him to come out of an office uh, and I twisted the paper clip into this shape and so that reminds me about my time with him and the valuable things he taught me. Uh, and finally uh, the last of my marks is almost a part of me. Um, this is a, uh, one of my back teeth that was capped with a gold cap and it came out and broke and I had to get a new one. And but I kept the tooth uh, or the, 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 the shape of it. So it's literally me almost like biting into the clay. Uh, and last year I was lucky enough to go to Stoke-on-Trent and I made one very small pot at the visitor's centre in a museum. And I kind of felt like, well, I've made a pot somewhere else and I deserve a new stamp. So that's that.
So that's why my pots end up with a, 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 a necklace of marks, uh, very much like life, I suppose. We end up with uh, a, a necklace of the experiences that we've been through and the things we've learned. Um, so it's a gentle reminder of that. Um, but I also hope it's a reminder to me that there's space for more learning, space for more scope, space for new stamps to be put on pots in the future.